Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I welcome uh, Vice President Mary Therese Thiel on the virtual stage, being the Vice President of the German Hungarian Chamber of Commerce. You necessarily have a horizontal perspective on the experience of challenges of corporations in digitalization. Vice President, the floor is yours. So thank you for the invitation and uh, thank you and I welcome um, Mr. State Secretary and all the audience. I would like to give you some insights uh, from a company, yeah? from a Hungarian company, because besides being the vice president of the German um, Hungarian Chamber of Commerce, I was 15 years responsible for Henry Emas as a board member and CEO. And um, it's true, the term industry 4.0 was quite popular four or five years ago. Like Mr. State Secretary said, everybody was fed up uh, with this because it was a buzzword and nobody knows, knows at that time really what was behind. But in the meantime, it has become more and more concrete and uh, the digital transformation is not only relevant for uh, startups, for innovative companies, also relevant for the very, very traditional companies and um, like, like Elmi, a, a traditional electricity company, 125 years old. So uh, therefore, I think also this program, what Mr. Georg mentioned, where um, uh, examples in a company can be shown is quite, quite helpful. So digital transformation is relevant for everyone, like mentioned before, it is not only new for, for innovative things, for startups, it's also for traditional company and for the core business and the core processes. Uh, with a higher digitalization, often higher effectiveness can be achieved. And uh, of course, some investments in hardware, software, but also in human resources are necessary. And often the, uh, the customers uh, expect digitalization. I was missing today in this conference so far the word customer. Yeah, because especially for companies who are dealing with mass transactions like telecom sector, like electricity, all utility providers. Yeah, the, the, the customer expect that they can deal all with all their issues in a digital way. And to give you an example of the, my, my former industry, we developed the whole meter to cash process digital. So that means you can, you can read your meter digital, put it in a system, sent to Elmu, Elmu produce digitally the invoice and you can pay also digitally, the whole meter to cash process. But it's only one, one example. And of course, to develop that digital education as a lot of times mentioned here uh, is crucial. Uh, companies have to invest in their people. And, but please, I encourage everybody not only to think of the younger people and the digital natives yeah, who are very keen to do that. A company can only be successful when you take the middle age stuff with you. And digitalization is not, not something fancy, it's essential. And we, we, do, we, we, we have to achieve that the middle-aged people are not left alone with that. Yeah? Uh, so digitalization is a lot about technology, but mainly it's about you who have to change their mind and have to think differently. And um, yeah. Um, but uh, not only services uh, will, will, for increasing efficiency is a topic of digitalization. Also new digital products will be developed and can be developed in every industry. And a lot of times with the support of artificial intelligence. So that is also a key issue. For example, very recently I learned that a famous um, train production company produced a product or with what 
uh, using the data of the movement of the train, they can uh, reduce the energy consumption of the train yeah, and can optimize the whole thing. So it's only one example. Every industry has that smart uh, products. And of course, another uh, field of digitalization is the communication within the companies. The COVID gave us a big push and we experienced that. And um, this gave us challenges, but also chances. Every company experienced that it is absolutely important to go the way to a paperless office, because what should you do? You are sitting to, at home in home office, but you don't have access to your files. So that is key. You can even not uh, um, hire any people what is necessary if you have not a digital HR process. So digital hiring became very practical. So that's only, so overall, the economy has to invest, invest in digitalization, but also get chances out of it. Possibilities for more effectiveness, but also for more revenues. And I wanted to highlight another aspect. Digitalization goes hand in hand with electrification. We need smarter grids, smarter grid infrastructure for Fibernet. My pre-speaker, the pre-speaker highlighted that as well. And you have to be aware that the consumption of energy will increase. Think of the huge necessity for servers to store the data and of all the digital at devices which are needed. So that are only some views what were not yet mentioned today. And as the digitalization is of major relevance for the whole economy in Hungary, like this conference show, and especially this panel shows, the Hungarian Chamber, the German Hungarian Chamber of Commerce has founded together with the Austrian Advantage Austria and the Swiss Swiss Gem, as well as DVC and the Austrian Hungarian Business Council, a network digital. And this in it, two years ago, and this initiative is still quite successfully alive. It shows um, best practices, organizes conference on relevant digital like topic, like for example, on in this autumn about e-government and give company leaders a voice to present their digital transformation. So in a summary, in a nutshell, I think it's still a lot to do. Digitalization is not a sprint, it's rather a marathon. Thank you.